Today, I managed to get my hands on a flare gun as well as a couple of flares. Big thanks to my viewers who allowed me to use their gear. Hey, I see a laying weapon. There it is. It's a weapon. Over here. Shit, where is Here's it? Here's a gun. Hey, I see a laying weapon. It's right here. It's right here. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. And the gun is right there. Oh god, are you gonna shoot me with it? Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's compatible. The gun and the flares aren't compatible. The actual ammunition for the gun looks a bit different. Uh, and as far as I understood, right, it's so more I just, I just rare to find right it. There. And I decided right just to use a usual flare. Yeah, go ahead. Woohoo, let's go! It's behind us! <laughs> it's behind us, bro! Whoa, I think no, you need to no, shoot no. the flare at the 45 degrees-ish, otherwise it's gonna go backwards. And I think it also might affect where the plane goes. So if you do find the flare chat, if you use the red flare for the airdrop, be careful with where you shoot it, because if you aim oh, right above you, the air, right, airdrop is gonna come yeah, behind yeah, good. you. Let's see what's inside it. Oh, it's full. It's full. Iridium. P cord, another filter, another fuel. You can you can give me the other one. It's a heavier one. Alright, they wanna go towards extraction now? I thought it was gonna be a brilliant idea if I let my viewers loot the whole container and I'll just get the leftovers. So I waited for them to loot it, go the leftovers, and we went towards extraction and safely left the map. Did my lamp at the at the back just? I think yeah. I think the I think the light broke. Chat. <laughs> GG's to the light. Later on during the stream, one of my Russian viewers offered me a couple more flares, and of course I accepted it for the content. So we decided to go in as a five man and maybe launch them at the same time. And in the first raid, I launched the red, which is an airdrop, and in the second raid, we decided to launch all of them at the same time. Вон она. Сзади, сзади. Нам кошмарных тут еще не хватало. Развернись, развернись, развернись. After checking the contents of the drop, surely I decided to give all of it to my viewers, they took all of it, I got a bit of things as leftovers, and we safely extracted. Во. Так, доставай ракету. Ой. We launched one red flare, one green, and I think three white ones. And since we launched it at the same time, I think there is a certain limit on how many flares you can launch at the same time for the airdrop. So that was no airdrop at night, I'm sadly. We kind of wasted the red flare, which is a uh, sad. But at least now we know that you shouldn't be spamming the flares if you've got a couple. I got a proposition. Let's work together. I haven't played with the new night vision this wipe yet, so I decided it's gonna be a brilliant idea if I take it out, test it out on Lighthouse, and uh, farm some rogues. Anyway, let's try it out. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's really bright. I think I scared this little fella by a lot since he didn't have any night vision or any flashlights, so he literally came into the bush and got shot. As soon as I approached one of the rogue buildings, I heard some strange noises and I seen some flashlights. He's gotta be on the roof chat.
Looks like this fella came here way way before me since he was super juiced and he had some rogue gear on him. He killed two rogues. And looks like he looted downstairs as well. I think I'm gonna get rid of my Mosin and swap the guns. Oh my lord, this is... That was so loud. Yeah, looks like the new sounds of dropped weapons can be actually scary. You know what I want to try, chat? I want to see if there is infrared. Oh, there is infrared, yeah. Damn. BG reworked IR lasers this wipe, so right now you can't see them unless you're wearing a night vision and if you are wearing a night vision, using infrared makes things brighter, it's like a type of flashlight only for the night vision users. This doesn't feel like playing Tarkov chat. I feel like I'm playing Splinter Cell. Rogues seem to have the same type of gear as in the previous wipe, which is high-end, good guns, good ammo, good armors. However, there are less rogues spawning at the moment, I think there are 6 in total, including the ones on roofs. So, you can farm rogues on roofs, but overall you can get less gear than in the previous wipe. Also, if you've made it that far into this video, I hope you really enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and write a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. I really enjoy making those videos and if you do enjoy watching them a lot, I'll put more time into the videos like this and I'll make more of them and I'll make sure they are very high quality.